So last week in my Kindle review video, I promised that there was going to be a video coming about how to take notes and highlights while reading, as well as what to do with those notes so that you can actually do something with those notes instead of just letting them sit by the wayside and just have a book full of highlights that you never get back to, like all of these. That video is coming, still working on it. It's going to be great, so be sure to stick around, but it is time for a violin update. Now, instead of just jumping right into playing a piece for you and showing you my progress over the past two months of violin practice, I thought why I set up the violin, I would talk to you a little bit about why I'm sharing these videos with you on my channel and how it relates to productivity for dads, if at all. So let's go. Even though this channel is presumably about productivity for dads, there are three reasons why I'm sharing these violin videos with you. The first of all is kind of straightforward and selfish of me. I just want external accountability to keep me practicing the violin. I'm just starting into this and I'm not a musical person, so I, I want the external accountability. And I've seen some other violin progress videos that have been very helpful to me, so I'm hoping it'll be helpful to others. Secondly, learning to play the violin has actually been really helpful for my productivity. It may be counterintuitive, but you know, adding this half an hour practice session every single day has seemingly given me more time, even though it's something more to do on my schedule. And I think that's something you should try out. Modern work culture, especially American work culture in general, tends to overemphasize getting things done and staying busy. But in reality, we need a time to decompress, to relax. And for me, doing a half an hour to an hour violin practice every single day has been that. It has been enormously helpful to be able to, you know, just when I'm feeling a bit stressed out, say to myself, hey, you need to get this violin practice done today. So step away from the work and go and practice. And I've had a blast doing it. So I really think that's something you should try. Not necessarily violin, just pick up a fun hobby, something that is relaxing and yet works you towards something you want to get done. For me, that was becoming more musical. And just go with it. It really does help me feel every single day more relaxed, as well as like I'm getting more things done. And that's not just because I added violin and that's a check mark that I can get done every day. In reality, I am getting more stuff done because it cycles back around. I enter the next workday a little bit more relaxed. I'm able to get more done instead of being stressed out. And finally, the thing is, yeah, I like productivity and stuff like that. And I'm sharing that with you guys because I need that help. I'm, I'm not just some kind of out of the womb genius at being productive. In fact, I really stink at it. The reason I know all these tips and stuff like that is because I need to know the tips. It doesn't come naturally. But I just want to talk about all that all the time. It, that contributes to modern busyness and work culture. Instead, I, I want to talk about fun stuff and become a better storyteller. And so I'm hoping by mixing up, by throwing these violin practice videos as well as my Kindle review or just other fun stuff between the hardcore productivity vids, I'll become a better storyteller, have more fun, and possibly make this channel a little bit more creative and just enjoyable to watch. I want you guys to get to know me, not just come to me for, you know, how to get more work done. That's kind of boring. So let's go. So, well, where am I at? Well, today is day 66 straight of practicing the violin since I first picked it up. And in that time, I've put in a total of 42 hours of practice time. Now, while that sounds like a ton, probably only about half that, like 20 hours or so, was actually dedicated focused practice time. So I could be much further along, I'm sure, if I was disciplined in that. But let's give it a go and see where I'm at.
Now, hopefully you just weren't dazzled by my amazingness and were actually able to look at that a little bit critically and notice the faults. I, I know I sure did, but hey, what can I say? If you were just amazed at the progress I made in two months, I'd be glad to hear that as well. But let's talk about the things that I noticed in replay that I need a little bit of work on. Let's get this out of the way. Firstly, and probably most obviously, I need to work on my bowing. There was a lot of bouncing that I'm getting in. I think that has to do with my bow grip and not pulling, kind of more pushing it when I go down bow. Um, so I need to work on relaxing that as well as a little bit more control of the fingers so I get less of that bouncing and a little bit less of that squeaking. Besides that, I also really need to work on intonation as well as just hitting the right notes, which is incredibly frustrating and difficult to do on the violin. Now, you may notice that there is a finger tape up here in first finger position on the first position, and there is a whole bunch of argument into whether or not that is helpful or not. I don't know my teacher to put on there for me because I'll hit the right note probably only 30 to 50% of the time and recognize it a subsection of that. And so I, I find that helpful uh, for at least getting that first finger into position. Now my plan is to continue doing one of these monthly update videos every month. And so over the next month, what I want to work on is three primary things. Firstly, as I already said, I want to work on bowing. I want to really work on just going slow and steady, not working on repertoire or techniques or anything like that, just really hammering in and focusing on bowing. Secondly, and this is the one that I have the least idea of how to get about handling, and so if you have any tips, please leave them in the comments down below, but I really need to work on ear training as well as just getting and hitting the right notes uh, so I can make proper intonation in tune. And this has been something that has been really difficult for me to practice. I have a pitch identification app that I often have open on my phone uh, to really test through things to see if I'm hitting the right note, but that feels like a bit of a crutch and I'm not sure if I'm relying on that a bit too much. And at the same time, it naturally takes a little bit longer to identify the pitch. And so if I'm quickly changing notes, it doesn't really work so well. Beyond that, as I said at the very beginning, the first video in this series, my goal is to play a version, probably a simplified version, of Silent Night by Christmas, which means I need to learn some new fingering on the E string as well as a couple of lower position second finger notes. And so that's my goal for the next three months, to work on bowing, to work on um, playing in tune and ear training, as well as Silent Night. And as I've already said, I want to be a little bit more disciplined in my daily practice sessions so that I can get the most out of those and do really diligent focused practice instead of just kind of meandering all over the place and not really progressing as quickly as I know I can. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was helpful to some of you out there and I hope you will stick around for some of my other non-violent stuff such as that promised reading and note-taking video that is coming up soon. Until next time, bye.